Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today, something a little different. I am going to be going over the features and benefits of the Weber Smoke Fire Pellet Grill. I just picked this up. Um, this is a Generation 2, so we're going to take a look at this and see all the great things about it. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, if you're not familiar with this particular grill, the Weber Smoke Fire Pellet Grills, these are the first pellet grills that Weber has produced. And they came out, oh, I want to say a year and a half, two years ago, when they first released this to big fanfare. Uh, they had a bunch of YouTubers come in and look at them, a bunch of other uh, famous grill people, and look at them in the home office up in Illinois. And everybody gave it grave re reviews from what they saw in the uh, initial uh demos of the grills that they had up there at headquarters unfortunately what happened when they released the generation one they first started hitting the streets i guess they were different uh, models or different uh, they came out of different batches so they had a lot of issues that creeped up and people really skewered them on youtube and other places they really got uh you know some issues so fast forward ahead about a year and a half or two years they have fixed all those issues from what I've heard and seen. And now this is the Generation 2 Weber Smoke Fire. It's got a lot of different things that uh, other pellet grills don't have. And it attracted me to this when it was first being released. But I kind of waited and s just to see what happened when it first came out. And I'm glad I did. I'm really excited to try it out. I'm going to get this out of the box and put it together. I'm not going to bore you with that. But I'm definitely going to put this together and try it out. So... I'll be back when I got this all set up and ready to go. Well, all right, guys. After about eh, maybe a little over an hour, hour and 10 minutes, pretty easy to put together. Instructions are pretty easy. And then there's an app called Built um, that you can download that has uh, pretty much walks you through it. But um, nothing really too out of hand. Um, Everything um, was in really good shape. This packing box was in really good shape. Everything all fits well didn't have to you know force anything into place and i've had plenty of grills where i've had to do that even some higher end ones but um really easy to put together like i said it takes a little over an hour um this particular model is the ex4 so it's more of a uh, the smaller grill you know for um yeah, a regular regular family the bigger one you may need to have two people help you move it a little bit but i was able to move this one and put the legs on and turn it up on its uh, off its side pretty easy i didn't need any help with it so it does come with uh, three uh, fire uh, glow plugs so one you install it takes about two minutes to install and then they give you two extra ones because these are one of the things that happens with pellet grills, all models, not just the Weber, but the glow plug or the lighting plug goes out, but it's really easy to reinstall. So they send you two extra, which is really good. They also have um, two meat probes that they send you. I guess they used to only send one, but they have ports for four, but um, they give you two meat probes. You can order two more if you want to. I. I'm okay with just having two. I don't normally have more than two different kinds of meats on my uh, grill at the, at, the time, at the same time. So two food probes is fine with me, but you can order two more. I did order the uh, front shelf, which is extra. Does not come with the grill. Really super easy to install. Just kind of slides in. Super impressed with it so far. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough for you, but I will be right back. So guys, I haven't fired this up yet, and I probably won't for this video. I'm just going to kind of show you, give you a quick walk around. So this is your control panel here. I haven't even turned it on yet. This comes with this sticker to kind of show you what it will look like once you get um, everything set up and running. So you got an LED screen there. This is your pellet hopper, and it, it's in the back, and it kind of goes lengthwise of the... Uh, the grill itself it does have a 
uh, slide every the pellet's going to slide this way down into the uh, hopper and there is also a um, pellet sensor and I'll sh take you around the back here to show you so as you can see um, that little gadget right up there that's a pellet sensor so once your pellets start getting low it'll it'll uh, give you a warning on your app that your pellets are getting low that you need to come and add more pellets now this will hold I think about a 20 pound bag of pellets uh, maybe a little bit less like I said about 20 pounds of pellets so um, really simple easy stays out of the way and this is where your control panel is on the front so um, the back here these are your exhaust ports they got three of them the, what happens is the smoke kind of comes up from the bottom and it twirls around inside and then comes out the back here so no smokestack or anything like that uh, to worry about just these three little vents that uh, the smoke comes out pretty evenly so all right we're gonna go back around to the front and look inside all right before we go around to the front guys and, and look inside just want to show you this is where underneath here is where your uh, power cable gets stuck plugged in and then there's an on and off switch right here that turns on your uh, control panel so it's right underneath uh, we're right next to the uh, power cord here so you just turn that on and then your power comes on and loads up so there is a app that uh, this will hook up to your Wi-Fi so you need to have your uh, Bluetooth and all that enabled in order to use the app with this it's going to help you out for sure with controlling the temperature um, making sure your firmware and software is up to date uh, helping you with recipes and all that and we'll go over that in a little bit but right now we're just going to go let this fire up we're going to open this up and show you what's on the inside just a quick look at the app guys really simple to use you can adjust uh, all your alarms and probes and adjust your temperature it's got plenty of recipes and all kinds of stuff in here uh, to control the grill so very uh, very impressed with the app works really well so far so this is what the front of it looks like you got your standard Weber big old emblem here it looks like a Weber it's got the uh, high gloss porcelain coated uh, enamel here this is your sticker a little bit. We're going to take this off. I just want to kind of show you, walk through it, smoke fire, wood pellet grill. It gets up to 600 degrees, which is hot for any pellet grill. Most pellet grills will stop at like 400, uh, 400 to 500 at the max. This can get up to 600 degrees. And um, I've seen people get it up there and we're going to get that up there in some uh, cooks for sure. Um, what that's important for is searing. Um, so most of your regular pellet grills, and I've had a couple of them that they just can't get up to searing temperatures. Even some of the more expensive high dollar ones can't get up to searing temperatures unless you're cooking right over the fire pot. So the inside here we're going to talk about. So everything is pretty nice looking. Everything is really clean. It's stainless steel. Um, you got a top rack and a bottom rack. So you got a decent amount of cooking space. You can get probably three good sized pork butts in here, a whole uh, brisket flat, um, or a whole packer brisket, and probably another brisket flat up on top. Plenty of room for lots of chicken. So you got a really, really good sized uh, grill here. And these are stainless steel. They're gonna last you a while, they're not gonna rust out. One of the things it has is laborizer bars, just like in a Weber gas grill. And that's one of the things that they say that, um, help get this up to a hotter temperature most other pellet grills have a full covered sheet here and um, it's like a drip pan that covers up the fire pot so your heat from the fire pot really can't get to the food so that's one of the things that this particular grill is supposed to help out get it up to over 600 degrees and that's what we're going to kind of test out one of the things major things we're going to test out so all these flavorizer bars come out and then it exposes the bottom of your smoker. So I'm gonna do that right now. I don't wanna bore you with that, but I'm gonna take this stuff out and we'll take a look.
All right, guys, so here is your fire pot cover. It's very thick steel, very well made. It's going to last a long time. Your fire pot has holes in the bottom where your ash falls down into your ash catcher below. The pellets come down this little chute and uh, fall into the fire pot, so there's no way that you're going to get a fire backing up into your auger uh, tube at all. So the thermometer is right here at great level, right by where the fire pot is. So you get a really accurate reading of the temperature inside the grill. So it's uh, very well placed. The uh, inside is double walled, so you're gonna be able to hold temperatures really well as well. So uh, very well constructed guys, thought out and designed. Guys, and this is where your ash and grease collect at the bottom. So you got a little uh, pan there for the grease. So really easy to clean it out. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and season this grill real quick, and um, it's really easy to do. I'm firing it up for the first time. I got my app all downloaded, uh, got it all set up to the Wi-Fi, uh, registered the grill, walks you right through it. I'll kind of go through that in a minute with the app, but I just sprayed a little bit of Pam all on the inside of the grill, and I went ahead and uh, turned the uh, grill up to 350 and got it started. I can hear the pellets starting to drop already and kind of open this up just so you can see really all you'll be able to see is maybe some of the smoke is starting to come and you can probably hear the pellets starting to fall into the hopper. Hear them falling in there. And what's going to happen now is that little glow plug is going to start lighting them up and you'll see some smoke starting to come up from out of the grill. So we're going to get this up to about 350. We're going to leave it there for a couple hours and let it really season the grill. I sprayed all the inside of the uh, grill with Pam um, just to get a nice coat on there to uh, protect it from the elements. So it's always recommended when you get a new grill to go ahead and season it up. But it also gives me the opportunity to fire it up and see how this thing works so far so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this down it tells you on here to keep the lid closed when it's uh, firing up so you pretty much just walk yourself or walks you right through it with the app to uh, set up the app you can set up the Wi-Fi automatically it updates any software or firmware that needs to be updated in the grill so uh, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, it'll actually automatically give you the option to register your grill with the, the serial number in it already. So you don't have to go looking around for the serial number and all that. So, all right, I'm going to let this get up. You can already see smoke rolling out the back. So it's getting up to temp really quick. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, so less than 10 minutes and this thing is already up to 350. So burning some clean smoke. You can see the fire down there, sparks coming out. Pretty good. So I am going to go ahead and sear some stuff on here in a little bit. I'm going to let this uh, season up some, but uh, I'm going to leave it here at 350 for a good hour or so. Let it uh, continue to season up the grill. And then I'm going to throw on some uh, pork tenderloins that I've got in the sous vide bath and we're going to sear them up. We're going to crank this up to uh, 600, see how it does searing. I'll be back. All right, guys, time to crank that heat up to 600 using the app. Real simple. Like I said, just grill controls, temperature, rise it all the way up to 600 degrees. I can do it from my office if I needed to. Really easy to do. All right, guys, it's getting up there. About 30 degrees to go. Let's see just how quick it gets there. Jump to 575. Just showing you this, I'll show you how quick it moves. <laughs> it's dumping a bunch of pellets in there, that's for sure. The convection fan is kicking up, it's on high. So we're five degrees away, there we go. 600 degrees. All right, let's get these seared up. All right, let's get these on. Ooh, look at that flame in the bottom. Look at that. No grease fire. That's just strictly from pellets and the uh, convection fan flaming up. 
And that's what I want because I want these to sear. These are pork tenderloin, so there's not a whole lot of fat on them. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. All right, guys, let's flip that over. Woo! That fire is kicking. Look at that. I'm going to actually put it. Look at that. Ow! That is hot. Put it directly over those flames there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm really, really happy with that. That is perfect. That's a lot of flame. That's a lot of heat pushing out of a pellet grill. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, take this out, just so you can see what an awesome sear that is. That's amazing. All right, guys, so we know now that the Weber Smoke Fire can sear pretty darn good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next fire and water cooking video. All right, all, I'm going to give you my uh, rundown on this thing so far with just uh, heating it up, searing, cooking on it for the first time, running. Works really well. I have no issues with it whatsoever so far. The only thing I can point out is it does push out a lot of ash. Uh, blows around pretty good. I think because that convection fan is, is really powerful and I had it up to 600 for searing. So I'm sure that has a lot to do with how much ash gets actually blown around out there. But as far as it getting up to temp, it gets up to temp really fast. It worked really well. I can't complain so far. But as the first test, I'm going to do a lot more videos on this thing for sure, just to make sure. But so far, it seems like they have taken care of all the issues that they had with the Gen 1s. So I'm going to go ahead and say, so far, so good. Looks great. Gets up to 600, no problem. Um, everything fits and finishes great on it. So I'll do some more videos in the future, I'm sure. But so far, so good. I'll give it a thumbs up. But thanks for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'll see you again in the next fire and water cooking video, and I'll be doing some more cooks on this uh, Weber smoke fire for sure.